Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a non-glamorous day, and I kinda wanna explain, one, what I'm gonna do in this video today, but also what we've kind of been up to, and there's a little slowdown on <laughs> content here on my channel. You're not gonna notice any difference, but I am now the furthest behind I've ever been. I have videos scheduled until next Wednesday, and today is Thursday, so that is the, for the least scheduled out I've been in many, many months. And it's because it's kind of boring around here. I mean, as much as I love my kids to be in school and not home on break again, it's really boring here at home, especially in January when there's no holiday, there's no events, there's no activities, there's no like extras. I took the kids to the bus stop this morning um, and took a shower for half hour because I could because I have time to kill. I literally only need to go get milk today and really I could wait till Jason's driving home and have him grab it if I don't want to go out. We had a threat of snow last night so the kids were all excited about having snow days. That's a thing here in Seattle. If it snows even an inch we'll get a snow day. <laughs> so we have more snow on the forecast for all of next week so there is really high potential of no school next week. So I should enjoy the quiet time while I've got it. It's also kind of boring here at home. So I am completely caught up on any video that I've filmed, but I don't have a whole lot going on in order to film it. So I was kind of sitting here. I'm finally to the point where I have nothing left to edit and I'm caught up. So I finally get to edit my sister's wedding video. I've started it. I started it a long time ago, but I just hadn't. I, it just, the holidays hit us full force and I didn't get time to finish it. And so I finally have a day where I have nothing but that video to work on. You'll see that there's the Valentine video that I just finished yesterday on the screen here. I just kind of wanted to take you through, not the nitty gritty of what it takes to create a video, but like this is my day. And I guess I want to explain to you what my day is. And so if you don't see us, for a couple, or if you know that we've skipped a couple days, um, it's not because I'm not doing anything, it's because I'm doing this. And a lot of YouTubers will have their husband edit or their the wife will edit, but it's mainly the husband's point of view from he's the one vlogging, you know what I mean? And um, I have to do it all. I have to be like mom mode. I literally put on my list today, where is my list right here? Mom life, hashtag mom life on my notebook. I kind of have to do it all, and I don't have much to do right now, so it's fine, but I have to kind of think of the content and film it and then get the footage and put it in the computer and edit it and upload it and get the videos out, but I also have to buy groceries and clean the bathroom and load the dishwasher. I have a load of laundry drying. I bring you along when I do my laundry and I show you my routine and, you know, the ups and downs of our family life. So I thought I would bring you along and show you why this occupies a lot of my time during the day and why I say I don't have a video for you, you know, when, you know, if I hadn't had a video the day before, that's why. It does take a lot of time to do these videos. I enjoy it. Um, I, I guess I'll backtrack just a little bit just to kind of explain YouTube in general. When I found it and decided I wanted to do this channel, it was different content in the beginning. It was crafts and creating and all that kind of stuff in the beginning. And then it turned to cleaning because that was something that I was also passionate about. And now it's revolved, you know, evolved into our family videos and that kind of content. When I originally started, it was a year before Ashley went to kindergarten. And I wanted to kind of test the waters while she was still at home, see what it took to create and edit and, and do the videos. Because she was an easy kid when she was the last one here at home. She's always been an easy kid to have around. And so I tested those waters and I realized, yes, this is what I want to do. And it will give me something to do when she is in school full time. So I practiced that last year she was home and I didn't put everything into it. I made sure she had all my attention. Um, and then if she's taking a rest or watching a show for an hour, I would come in and do this kind of stuff. Um, this occupies my time. When it's boring and I don't have anything else to do, I do fall back on this and I do extra research. And last night I was up till one or two in the morning um, trying to find music for um, our travel videos and for this wedding video that I'm doing for my sister or future videos that I need to, I don't have music for. 
I'm constantly thinking about this as well as doing the mom life stuff and even like wife stuff with my husband. So five minutes of like jibber jabber. I'm just gonna walk you through, you know, just like I would any other routine here in our life, whether it's a morning routine or a night routine or a laundry routine, this is what I do. So I kind of wanted to share it with you. And I think it's kind of interesting. And I, when I learned about the process in the very, very beginning, I was like, this is really kind of cool. So maybe you guys are interested in it. Maybe you'll never start a YouTube channel, but it, at the very least, you'll understand the other side of me, the other side of what I do behind the scenes. And maybe that's interesting to you just in general. So let me show you what I do. All right, so obviously I have to film the content and for the, the sake of, you know, explanation, I've got my sister's wedding here. Um, just so you know how much footage it takes um, to film a wedding, there's the first a photo and then if we scroll all the way down still going still going there's the bottom one <laughs> it takes a lot of footage so what I have to do is I have to get that footage from my camera I have a disc right here you can see that right there I have one disc in right now I have to get that footage from the disc into my external hard drive which is right here then I have folders that I designate for each video. For me, it's a daily video. So I have a date and I have like a month folder and then a date folder. And then I put all of that footage into that folder so that I can kind of keep track of it. And if I ever need, ever need to like go back to it, like today it was really helpful. I was like, I need some extra footage from her wedding. So I went back to the actual date of her wedding and I had that in a folder. And I was able to pull out extra footage because the video that I did on my channel was from the perspective of our family, like my immediate family, and then my extended family, like my brothers and my sisters, my mom and dad, but I hadn't put in any of the footage of like my sister's now husband and his whole side of the family, because I didn't use that footage. So all of that footage goes from right here, from you guys, from the camera, from the card that's in the camera, and I store that and um, organize that. I'm an organized person and if you, the more organized you are, the better you're gonna be at this. So I get all the footage into my folders in on my computer and I use an external hard drive. Right now I have a two terabyte hard drive and a five terabyte hard drive. The two terabyte hard drive is literally full and I only keep it open because there's old footage on it just like it's from Katie's wedding back in October. It has the footage on it, but now I'm currently in the new terabyte external hard drive. So I keep them both plugged in because I need to go back and forth between the two. I know there's a lot of jargon in here that might seem boring to you, but you store everything on an external so you don't ruin your computer. And I learned that the hard way. All right, so then I go back to those folders, like for the sake of showing you what I do, even though I've already got the footage in here, I then go to those external hard drives and I capture all of that footage from that folder that I just saved it to and I import all of that footage into iMovie, which is the editing software that I use. Some have Final Cut Pro, and it's actually just barely finished loading. See how it's still kind of slowly. I just barely started doing this, and I added a whole bunch of extra footage. Look at Ashley right there. Let's see if it'll focus. Little stinker right there. She's so cute. So I load it all, and then I have to decide like what order I want to do the video in. Let me actually pull up, I had the Valentine video up. So then I have to figure out the order that I want the footage to go in. Play around with it and drop in all of the, I, mean, I have to drop in all the footage in order once I kind of have the, so I have a whole bunch of footage in here. See the top line here. I won't go into a whole bunch of editing techniques. So I've added the photos here and then I've actually already added music here. I'll show you that in a second. But for this next section, I've only added the footage. And I kind of realized that I needed some music to go with this one. And I didn't really have what I wanted, which is another step of what I have to do. You have to find, I have to find 
copyright free music so I have audio library here on YouTube that I have access to. So I have to go find music that I have legal right to use. Now for my sister's wedding, she's only gonna get a file of this wedding video so I don't have to worry about whether it's a copyright music or not. She will have to worry about it if she plays it on Facebook or Instagram or any other social media outlets herself. Um, so I am trying to just go ahead and use copyright free music myself so that she has access to do whatever she wants with this video in the future. But it takes a long time to go through and try and find the right music. Like I said, I, I probably spent from midnight till 1.30 last night laying in bed, had my hair, earphones in, and I just sat and like scrolled through music. I'm like, what do I want? What do I want for travel? What do I want for this wedding video? What do I want, you know, day, day videos. I know snow is on the forecast for next week. Do I want some more upbeat songs for um, our snow videos if we go sledding? It's, it, there's a lot of involvement when it comes to uh, what it takes to kind of put into the video. Um, I had a person comment today that they liked my editing and I can't remember your name. I can't remember. Oh, you're gonna kill me. You just barely, I'll find it. I'm gonna find you. You just barely commented that you like my editing skills. And I literally was gonna sit down today and practice and do my editing. So I thought that was kind of interesting. So I find music and audio library is your safest bet to find music. And then I have to download it and I have to get it into my iTunes. These are um, songs that I found um, like two weeks ago, I think. And then... So some of you should recognize those music. I used that in recent videos. So I have to, you know, edit the music and there's, I'm not gonna go into like the details of what it takes to, to put all of it together. But I will sit here and like I did my year in review, it took me four days. That's, I mean, literally during break, I chaperoned kids. I went in and out of the kitchen, in and out of the playroom, shuffling kids back and forth to McDonald's. And I edited that video. I literally, sometimes a 10 second chunk of footage can take me an hour to edit. And that may seem crazy, but as I'm learning and as I'm watching videos, like right now I'm watching travel videos to learn how to edit better for our future travel videos. So there's a lot of process. And once I finally feel really good about it, I'll watch the whole thing through a whole time, like on the big screen. And then I'll have Jason come in and I'll have him watch it and make sure that he doesn't see something um, that maybe I missed. You know, cause if you're watching the same thing over and over, sometimes you miss something <laughs> and he he catches things, you know, he's like, ah, you didn't quite edit out all of the, your ums. And sometimes I don't, sometimes I get really sick of editing out every single um and tick in my voice. It takes a lot to edit that out, you guys, <laughs> by the way. So once all of that is kind of done and I really like what I have, so then I have to export it out of iMovie and I create a file and then I have to go to YouTube, going to my channel. You can see my channel from the back side, I guess. And we have our subscriber counts going up, so that's awesome. So then I have to go and I have to find that video that I just exported out of iMovie. You can see it kind of creates like a little thumbnail image of what the video is gonna be like. This one is a failed attempt if it doesn't show an image. <laughs> that one didn't work the first time. Um, so then I find it and then I can upload it. I can't do these guys because I've already done them. And then once it's importing into YouTube, there are, you have to fill in your description, you have to fill in the title, there are tags that you wanna draw attention to your channel, like you have to put in all the key concepts of what you want people to come and watch the video for, whether it's mom life or daily videos or that kind of thing. Sorry, I'm freezing cold. So I've got my blanket falling off my lap. Um, so I had to do research. That's what I was gonna do today is do some research on tags and, and how to draw more attention to my channel. So I'd fill all of that in and then I have to edit my thumbnail. And the thumbnail is the photo that you see on the front screen when you're clicking through YouTube, those are the thumbnail pictures. And I have to create 
that photo or take a snapshot from the video, like a screenshot from the video, and then I have to write a title on it and I have to edit that. So that's the next step that I have to do. While the computer is importing that YouTube video, it can take up to an hour to import the, import the footage, um, that movie that you just created. Um, it takes like an hour to an hour and a half to import it. We have high speed internet here, but it's, if I had a one, like internet one notch up, it would go quicker. But I usually just, by the time I've edited the photo, the thumbnail picture, it's usually ready to, you know, and it's uploaded and all done. So I use Adobe InDesign to edit my thumbnails. There's plenty of other software items that you can use that will do it for free. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find the photo that I want to use as my thumbnail. So once I have the photo, then I add her name and and I just do other, I have to add all this other stuff to draw attention to the video. That's the first thing that you see that draws your attention and makes you want to click. Literally, that's the, the, the first draw to a video is this image and so if I get the image wrong you're not even gonna click in and watch it sometimes the title will anyway so there's a lot involved with it I have to think throughout the day is there a screenshot that I can get that would capture the essence of what we did today and if yes then I can just get that when I'm editing if not I kind of have to go back and take a photo of maybe what we had been doing in order to like, you know, if I'm shopping, clearly I'm going to take a picture of our shopping haul or something like that. I have to think about those things like throughout the day. I'm like, I'm living my day, but I also kind of have to think about it in terms of what photo I'm going to use. So I edit the photo. The video has usually imported by the time I'm done edit, editing the video or the photo. There's a lot. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. It, there's a lot of information and I'm trying not to bore you either but I'm also just trying to like bring you along in what it takes so I merge those together I import that video or the photo that I have just created um, and I attach that to the video and then I have to do a bunch of other editing to make all the little things pop up on the screen. The eye cards that flash across the top of the screen, I'll put a playlist right here so you can see what I'm talking about. I have to add that. And then at the end of the video, I have to add little videos that makes you want to come back to the channel to watch some more. So I have to decide what those videos are going to be. Maybe it's a playlist, maybe it's something that you wanna. It's a mouthful, it is, and I that's what I do. Like Jason said the other day, he's like, wow, you were on the computer all day today, I'm like, yeah, and you were on the computer at work too, but you get paid. <laughs> I don't get paid very much for this, you guys. Like, I added up, you know, my analytics here on YouTube will tell me exactly how much I've made since I started YouTube. And it is like, it will blow your mind the little dollar amount that I have made. I'm grateful for the money that I've made so far, but I would love for, <laughs> I would love to increase that dollar amount a lot. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna turn the camera on. There's a lot of footage here of me just babbling. I'm just gonna turn the camera on. I'm gonna let you just kind of watch the screen, watch as I'm editing, and kind of take you along all of these different processes that I have done, just cause, and I'll put it to music and I'll make it all fun and, and jazzy and whatnot. Just, I wanted to like let you know like what I'm doing, kind of take you along my journey. I am gonna go fill my my jar jug up and uh, be able to sit here for a little bit longer because my, uh, now that I've been talking a whole bunch, my throat is kind of dry and I'm trying really hard to not have a Coke before. <laughs> well, it was 12, I was gonna say before noon. Um, usually I can hold out till like two or three, so. We are two wanderers at dawn Of the world full of war Early sunrise I gave promise You said always and we run in debt I'm by your way I'm preaching you my church I'm yin and your yang You're my eat, I'm your ass And no one is right On this world is so blind Feel no doubt
so I am going to take a break <laughs> from doing this. I'll just take you on my day. Oh shoot, I'm wearing pajama pants. <laughs> I almost went to the grocery store in pajama pants. All right, gotta put taller socks on. My legs get really cold. Gotta put some smart wool on. <laughs> it is cold out there, you guys. It's like 30 something degrees, 33. When I went to the bus stop this morning, the cold snap is coming. We're going to get snow. It's almost a guarantee. I just don't think it'll stick. It won't stick for very long. Unless it was like last year. Last year we kind of got pummeled. Freezing out here. My hands are freezing cold. I should have gotten my coat, but I only have one store to actually go into. And then I'll just be in my car. as a drop off Goodwill stuff. And then the grocery store. In case you didn't know, January is cereal month and health awareness month. So stock up on cereal, folks. All right, well, my Fetch Rewards is uploading. I'll show you what I got. I got all that cereal. I think I got 20 something boxes of cereal. And then I dropped my milk. The lady like left it on the top of my cart, like in a total ski, um ski wampus way. The second I came out of the store, it dropped on the ground outside and it like burst the entire gallon of milk. Whatever, I don't even wanna go back inside. And then I got oranges and corn because it was on sale, because why not? All right, so you open the Fetch Reward app. I think I've mentioned this before, but I wanna show you like in the moment. All right, I can't show you all the stuff on all of my receipt. You basically add all these sections of your receipt. All right, you add all the sections and then see how many points I got. Ooh, 99, I did really good. All right, so I'm gonna take you around to where I spilled all my milk out here. It's out here on the, can I show you? Yeah, that's all my milk. Don't cry over spilled milk, they say. All right, so I'm gonna show you something we got for Christmas. I've been letting it sit here. One of those scratch off, like where have you been? But so we're gonna start scratching off the places we've been. So we got that for our Christmas from my sister-in-law and Jason's brother. And I've been wanting to put it in this frame. So let's see, we can go through, I can tell you really quick and then I'll let the kids scratch it off today. So Jason grew up in Alaska. I grew up in Utah. We live in Washington. We have now been to Hawaii five times. And then let's see where else. Jason lived in Japan over here for two years. We went on our honeymoon to Italy, so we can scratch that off. I lived in Germany for a month. Oh, and Ireland, duh. So it'll be fun. So we have a big world to go and see. And that's like my day, you guys. <laughs> my days are a little random when the kids are all gone and I'm not very busy. Okay, so I have to talk to you guys about this. This is more just like a chat video. So I can tell when the kids get out of school because Abby has a group chat and they're calling themselves the pink group chat. There's a group of 30 girls. And they're all in seventh grade. <laughs> and they all decided to wear pink on Wednesday. Some of you watch my channel, so I know you, you know who I'm talking about. They have a group chat discussing who's gonna wear what and who can borrow this and that. And then just other teenage chitter chatter, you know. I can guarantee you there's so many of them and they text one word answers. <laughs> Instead of a whole paragraph, they'll do one individual text with every single word. I will have probably 75 to 100 text messages by the time Abby actually gets home. When I open my phone, I bet I will have 75 text messages. I'm gonna count the ones that are on my screen. Oh, there's, okay, so there's 11 so far. Let's just see how many I have in the next 10 minutes. Last night, from dinner time, basically, until midnight, you guys, midnight. They were so worried about this rain, this snow that was supposed to come. I think I had 300 messages, and I woke up to 30 at like seven in the morning. Crazy. This is why Abby doesn't have a phone. She can see the messages when she gets home, but she's on the bus with them. They're all on the same bus. So I don't know why they can't just chat with each other. Don't get it. Last night, I get it, they're not around each other, but anyway, I've got 15 minutes of quiet before the kids get home, and it's like this debate. Do I go back to the computer, or see, there's another one, another message <laughs> already, or do I just sit and relax for 10 minutes? And really, I have like 45 minutes, so it's just like this debate. Relax, or fold a load of laundry. I don't know, I don't know what to do. 
a little boring because the tasks start to nag at you, but you don't really want to do them. That's the problem. All right, so Abby's home and there is 41 messages. I'm documenting Abby. Yeah, Abby's like, you know that there's like 40 people on that group chat. 43, exactly. Yes. Oh, there's 43? 33. Oh, yes. I said 30. I didn't know how many exactly. I didn't quite get to the 70. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> There's a lot of people on there, so I get it, but like there's a lot of messages. Someone even just, I don't look at the messages very much, but someone just did a screenshot of their phone that they hadn't checked. I don't know who it was. Did you, oh, you haven't looked at it. That they hadn't checked their phone since yesterday, and they had 402 messages. There's quite a few. Abby's back there making hot cocoa, because it is really cold out there. Let's see what the temperature is. My car said 33 when I was out. Now the kids are saying they're wearing sweatpants to school tomorrow. Today they wore black, right, Abby? We did that because yesterday when we wore the pink, yeah. the guys said they were going to wear the black, so we wanted to ruin their thing by making it our thing, but no one actually wore black. Oh, well, whatever. So it's 38 degrees right now. 38 feels like 38. Yeah, and it's going to drop down to 34. It was snowing. Yeah, we had like flutters. I mean, you could see the little flutters, but then they don't even like, they disappear before they even like hit the ground. Kind of turned to rain before it even hit the ground. Yeah, the, well the ground is too wet. Very predictable. <laughs> I told you. No, it's okay. I was just saying, so she actually hides her iPad down in the little slot behind the couch. Then this one here is the one Chelsea and Ashley use when this one is dead. This one is probably dead, so they're probably going to get mad about it. And I have not, I've decided I'm not in charge of charging them. I think this guy is probably dead. Yeah, it's dead. I'm not in charge of charging them. I charge my phone and that's it. And we're to the end of our day. Are you tired? No. You're going to pretend like you're not so you don't have to go to bed, right? But I'm gonna make Ashley promise this on camera. I can't come down and I have to stay in my bed and not try to go to sleep. I don't know. Then what happens tomorrow night if you do all those things? I scream. They get to. I scream. I scream. So we're documenting it here. If they stay in bed, do their screen time, do their reading time, don't ask to come down. But only if you let us. If I let you come down, you may not come out of your room. Yeah. <laughs> so you have peanut butter face. And I don't think we've told them you lost another two. So she has a giant hole in front of her face. <laughs> so, ready? You have 15 minutes to get ready for bed. That's gross. Okay, go. <laughs> Say goodnight. Say goodnight. Good night. Go to bed.